Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video. This is John from Programming Knowledge and this is part 7 of our PWA tutorial for beginners. So from the previous tutorials, we implemented different elements into our app and um, we have the UI and also we installed or registered our service worker uh, in order to support the progressive web app. Now, so far, we only have installed the service worker, but we don't have yet um, the support for offline capability of our app, meaning we couldn't open our app when the browser or the device is offline. So we need that particular feature in order to incorporate that into our PWA, um, PWA app or progressive web app. So... Basically, what you can see here is that every time we refresh the page, um, the app will try to request all the necessary resources. So as you can see here, we have the index.html, we have the materialize um, mean.css, we have also the icons, we also have the styles right here for the CSS. Um, this is our custom CSS and also we have the materialize.mean.css. This is coming from the Material CSS um, website. So if you haven't, or I think um, you already have this particular resources downloaded because you use the starter files for our uh, video tutorial series. And we also have this app.js. Okay, so we created that. And we also have the common.js. Um, I think the app.js is responsible for the this one installing the res um the service worker so basically we created that particular js file and um, we also have this common that js we also have the contacts or pk contacts so this is represents the logo for our programming knowledge contacts that png um, file and we also have here the um, icons family requested by our app we also have the ws manifest.json and of course this particular icon 44 uh, 144.png and this is represented by our fetch event so as you can probably remember from the previous tutorials we tried to um, intercept the fetch event and then call a callback function and we tried to display uh, what's inside that particular event um, object right here so that's why we're getting this particular output and um, we can see here the request right here and then the you are um, the URL that has been requested so for example in this case we're requesting the materialize that mean that CSS um, another thing for example this one is requesting for the icon dash 104 uh, 144 this one is requesting for the manifest.json file so all of this um, request should be or all of these resources inside this particular request should be saved into our cache so that we could support the offline capability of our pwa now basically what we could do is add a a lot of a lot of um, lines of codes here in our service worker file and um, what we could do here is let's try to save the assets that we're, we're gonna save into our um, cache so we're using the cache of the browser and then we're gonna list here all the um, resources that you know being requested by the app so basically we could um, add the files or resources so by using this particular variable cache right here or caches and then we could open that cache so this is the cache for our browser and uh, this particular method or function is um, asynchronous meaning it takes time to complete so in here we could try to add the then function okay and it's gonna take the cache object and we're going to, we're gonna add here a callback function 
So in here, we need to specify the name of the cache that we're trying to save the, resource, uh, the resources into. So what we could do here is add a constant for our cache name. So const and then cache name equals, so for example, um, all the resources that, that we're trying to request right here is the default or meaning um, this is the necessary resources that the PWA or the project will request and without this resources our app will be uh, will not be formed or otherwise in other words this particular resources makes up the building block of our app so um, what we need here is the our resources and we're gonna name our cache name as um, app dash shell dash resources so i'm just gonna make it rs rs and then later on we're gonna add a versioning for this particular um, cache so that um, we could you know um, have a new version for the cache because we're, we're, we're gonna delete or update the cache inside the browser so for now let's just name our cache as app dash shell or hyphen rsrs okay there you go and then we can specify the cache name right inside the open function right here and um inside this particular um function we're gonna use this particular object right here cache so um we're gonna add the resources so there's two ways on how to add resources to our cache so we could add or um, you know use the add function or we could also uh, um, use the add all function which you know you can specify um, several resources so for example you can say here add okay so inside here will be the assets that we're gonna try to to add to our cache so basically what we will try to add here is the um, resources that the, that is being requested by our app so for example we have the index.html the materialize that mean that css we have the styles and so on so let's let's just add that right here and um what we could do is add another constant right here to hold all the necessary assets that we're gonna you know save to cache so first will be um, index.html there you go so that's one of the resources being requested by the app so index.html and then we have um, G the js file which is js slash app.js and then we're gonna add also js common.js and then the js file for our materialize so materialize that mean that CS um, JS and then also we have the CSS styles or custom CSS styles for this particular app so styles that CSS and that's basically here CSS and then styles that CSS another one will be the CSS coming from the materialize so that will be materialize that mean that CSS and basically this is the materialize that mean the CSS under the CSS directory inside our um, project so another one will be the image and this will represent the icon for the contacts so programming contacts or programming knowledge contacts that PNG um, we could also add the material icons so for example we have here the icons uh, coming from uh, google apis right here so fonts that that google apis dot com slash icon and then the family equals material plus icons so i'll just copy and paste that um url so that it, it, you know um, it won't take that long to type in this url of the material icons 
So basically we're we're just trying to save all these resources, okay? Into our cache or inside the browser's cache. Now what we could do is add also the root um, request. So this represents the root request of the app. And then in line with that is the index.html, the app, the common, materialize, styles.css, and the other assets as well. Now, what we could do is try to uh, add that particular cons right here, assets. So we could just make this one line. Cache.addAll and then the assets. There you go. So what we could do is try this in our browser. Let's go back. Um, let's ref uh, let's refresh this, and let's go to application. Okay. Uh, there you go. We we click on this update on reload. So basically, we now have the newest version of our service worker file, and it should save the resources right here in our, in our browser's cache. There you go. And we have here all the resources added. So the materialized that CSS, styles, contacts, and the other resources being requested by our app, as you can see here. So that's what we're trying to save by using this particular lines of code here. And then we're, we're adding this into our um, cache. Um, in the next tutorial, we will try to move this because currently we're um, adding this automatically but what, what we want is to wait for the install event to finish or call this install event first and then call this add assets okay so i think that's all there is to it guys in this video and in the next video we're gonna try to use also the cache uh, resources that we save so we will try that and we can intercept the request um, being done by our app so thank you again guys for watching and see you in the next video